Hello, this is Chris with Custom Creative Carvings and welcome to my shop. Just wanted to take a quick second and do a quick product spotlight. So, not a sponsor, but a product that I found very helpful. Uh, situation was, I got some really cool walnut logs, uh, but they'd all been cut to firewood size and just left out to be victims of the weather for a couple years. They weren't completely dry, but they were mostly dry as 12, 14 inch logs. Well, short pieces of fire log, uh, but I didn't want to just toss them. So I cut one up and this is what I got out of half of one. So some, some decent sapwood to, to heartwood color change there. But one thing you'll notice is there's a lot of cracking and splitting. So once I got it to here, I just got to a point where I'm like, uh, excuse me. <laughs> it's beautiful wood, but it's going to be too broken to use for anything. And I actually had a lumber mill tell me that when I asked if he could mill them up for me. He's like, I could, but at that length, by the time you cut off this and you cut off this, all you're going to have is a couple inches of usable wood. And I didn't like that answer, but I, I took it for what it was. I mean, he was telling me the way it was. But I milled this log down, and this is what I got. This is half of it. The other half I went and cut into three-quarter inch uh, strips, and it sat. It dried. It warped a little bit, and but it sat. And then I realized that I wanted to, to do something with it. So I started looking at it and it bowed a little bit. So I, I planed it down and I jointed it and I got it nice and square, but there was a lot of cracking and checking that went through long distances of it. But I am not one to give up. If anybody can vouch for that, it's my mother. I am the most stubborn person on the face of the planet, according to her. And so what I did was I broke out the star bond. This is medium black and the star bond accelerator. And I went to town on this box. So I, I actually built the box. I, I glued it all up. And after I got it dry, I went through and filled in all the cracks and gaps and everything that, uh, the splits, the checking, and now I'm going to chisel it down, get the, the big chunks off, and then I'm going to sand it down, do a little bit more refining work on it, and we'll see how it turns out. So after quite a bit of, I would say chiseling, but use of the chisel to scrape some of the big stuff off and sanding and a little bit of routing, uh, the box is uh, complete. It's ready for a stain. Well, I think I'm just going to do an oil coat on it. I think that'll really do some nice things for the walnut. But let me uh, come in and show you how this turned out. Show you some of the things that Starbond was able to correct. So right here, there's a little piece that blew out. So I just backfilled that completely with Starbond. This was a really heavy split. And so I was able to fill that whole thing. That would have ruined this entire piece of wood. Uh, another split, split down on this end. This was all checked, split. So I was able to get all those filled that had split up. So I've got some starbone under that. Big split on that side. So a lot of splits and there is some stuff in there where that was my issue with the router and, and uh, I brought the data all the way through there and there. So I had to use a little piece of walnut and the star bond to fill that. Um, so all in all, did a really great job at uh, making this box or this piece of walnut still usable. So I was able to make a pretty nice box, thanks to Starbond.
Could have done a little better, but I'm still learning. I'm not an expert. I haven't done a lot of hand work with boxes and stuff, but I'm getting into it. And I'm glad that I don't have to throw away all this walnut. I do have to do a, a special shout out to the folks at Starbond. Uh, while I am not sponsored by them, my, my wife picked me up. Um, I've used a little bit in the past. I, I used Starbond to make this ring. Uh, but my wife picked me up uh, some black medium and uh, a bottle of accelerator for Christmas. So that was cool. I, I started playing around with it. Uh, the cap was leaking when I'd pump on it though, like dripping out. And I reached out to Starbond, asked him if I was doing something wrong. And they, they said, well, are you doing this? Are you doing that? And I, I said, no, this is what's going on. And, and they actually sent me a, uh, a can of the aerosol and this, this stuff. They sent me a can of this kind of stuff, the aerosol, uh, to replace it. So not only a great product, but a company that's willing to take care of its customers. So thank you for that, Starbond. And uh, <clears throat> drop a comment down below if, if you've used Starbond uh, to save wood that was normally beyond use. I, mean, I guess I could have uh, backfilled it with epoxy, but that seemed like it would just be more trouble than it was worth. This was actually pretty easy. Just fill in with the fine point on that, fill the line in, let it soak in. Spray with the accelerator and then send, wait 30 seconds and then sand it back down. So, thanks for watching. This is Chris with Custom Creative Carvings.